Hey there, my name is Moksh and I'm a security engineer at Astra. So today we look at nine ways you can make your WordPress site more secure and make sure you watch the bonus tip at the end. Before making any changes to your website, make sure to take a full backup of your website. If your hosting provider already provides a backup facility, then you can safely skip this step. But if you don't have any such thing in place, then you can use any third party backup plugin. We have used all-in-one WP migration plugin. It's very easy and intuitive to use as you can see right here. You can export the WordPress site backup and later import it back if anything goes wrong. The next step is to make sure that our WordPress core, themes and plugins are always auto-updated. And to do so, we'll add some code to our WP config file and also create a simple must-use plugin with our own customizations added to it. You can use SSH credentials to make changes to these files. We'll use FileZilla for the same. Now to auto-update WordPress core, add this line of code to the end of WP config file and don't forget to save it. To enable auto-update of themes and plugins, we'll create a must-use plugin in WordPress. And to do so, we'll create a new directory mu-plugins under the WP content directory if it's already not existing. Then create a new PHP file such as myplugin.php and paste these lines of code there and save it and you are done needless to say that you must delete all the themes and plugins you are no longer using this step is one of the most important and the most often miss out one too most people complete all the steps to make the wordpress secured but they always leave this tiny hole in their walls so we have made a complete video about this which discusses this step in a lot more detail. You can find the link to it right here. This step is a fairly simple one to do. You need to delete readme.html and license.txt from your WordPress root and these files may reveal some sensitive info and are completely useless. Also, you must delete the install.php file from the WP admin directory as this file is a residue of the installation process and is not needed anymore. This is an additional step to greatly increase the security of your WordPress installation by setting up the secret keys and is also very simple to do. If at any time there is a suspicion that secret keys have been compromised, admin can change them and it will invalidate all the sessions and force users to re-authenticate. The best part, you can generate them from this link or can create your own long and random strings you don't need to remember. Then paste them as it is in the wp-config file. Brute forcing usernames and passwords is a common way attackers use to hack a website. You can use CAPTCHA to prevent brute forcing attempts and this can easily be done using a plugin. We'll use advanced no CAPTCHA and invisible plugin version 2 and 3. You'll need a side key and a secret key which you can get by going to this link or simply search Google CAPTCHA. Then enter your site details there and it will generate the keys for you. Put those keys in the plugin and select the places you want to enable CAPTCHA verification. To add another layer of security to your login, you can enable two-factor authentication wherein you will be required to enter a secret key available in your mobile device other than the login password. You'll have to install an app such as the Google Authenticator app for this. You can use any third-party plugin of your choice. We'll use 2FAS Lite Google Authenticator. Once you install any such plugins, it's fairly simple and intuitive to set it up. Now, deleting the old admin account becomes very important, especially when you want to prevent brute forcing of the username admin, so to say. And also, since the default ID of this admin account is 1, 
and it will be the first come target of any SQL injection. You can simply create a new admin account, log in with your new admin account and delete the default one. And don't forget to choose your role as the administrator. Also, make sure that this option is unchecked if user registration is not required or user management is done through other user management systems. You can uncheck this option by going into the WordPress settings. Okay, so now it's time for a bonus tip. Now that you have put some security measures on your WordPress site, make sure it is not vulnerable to any further attacks and put an overall security for your site by adding a firewall on your website. Then to check out my video on why you should get a firewall, here's a link to the video that gives you strong reasons to get a firewall today. Still confused on what next or facing some signs of hacking attempts? or a security software you have installed not doing its job or it could be anything else but but at astra we do it all still have queries the quick solution would be to get us on the chat and ask your doubts in the comment sections and we assure our assistance till then stay safe and happy security to you